smell good too. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, it's delicious. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Naida and welcome to my channel. Today I will be cooking arroz balinciana. In this recipe I will be using one pound of sweet rice. The first thing that I'm going to do is wash this rice and cook this on top of the stove. You can also cook this in the rice cooker if you wanted to, okay? So I already washed the rice and then I'm going to add two cups and one fourth of water or you can just simply measure it with your finger the rice is this big this high and the water should be the same okay so if you're cooking rice on top of the stove and decided not to use rice cooker if your rice is an inch high, your water should be an inch high, okay? So I'm gonna turn my burner into high, and then when it boils, I'm gonna turn it to medium high, which is number five in my dial. So we're just gonna wait until it boils. So rice is boiling, I'm gonna turn my burner into number five, and then I'm gonna wait until all the water will disappear okay so all the water reduces so it's barely nothing in here so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna turn my burner into low which is number two in my dial and then I'm gonna put the lid and let it simmer for about 10 minutes okay so we're going to check our rice. Okay, this rice is done. I'm going to put it on the side. So now we're going to make our sauce. I have two tablespoons of um, vegetable cooking oil over here. I'm going to turn my burner into high and then we will wait until the oil is hot okay so we're gonna check on our cooking oil if it's ready yep i'm gonna add our one fourth cup of freeze garlic turn the burner into medium low so the garlic now is golden brown i'm gonna go, go ahead and add our one cup of onion And then I'm gonna add one cup of tomatoes. One cup of carrots. One cup of green bell pepper. One half tablespoon of kosher salt. One teaspoon of crushed black pepper. One teaspoon of ground ginger. Put the lid until the vegetable is halfway cooked. So we're gonna check the vegetables. It's now halfway cooked. So I'm gonna go ahead add our mushroom. Stir it up. If you like meat, you can go ahead and add meat instead. Since we are doing it vegan, all these vegetables are the replacement of meat, okay? Go ahead and add one can of coconut milk. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of turmeric. So I'm gonna put the lid 
on the top and then I'm gonna turn my burner into low it's number three in my dial and I'm gonna let it simmer until all the vegetable is done so we're gonna check our vegetables so all the vegetable is done so we're gonna combine the sweet rice and the sauce. We're gonna combine our rice to our sauce. And then we're gonna mix it together. So at this point, um, this is the right time to taste if your salt is uh, good enough, but if it's not, then you can add more, okay? So everything is in here is cooked, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put the lid on the top and then I'm going to turn into low, it's number two in my dial, and um, I'm going to let it simmer for 10 minutes just to absorb the sauce to our rice okay 10 minutes of simmering this is all ready so we're gonna transfer this to our pan over here um this is optional i have a banana plant but you don't have to if you don't have any okay so i'm gonna transfer this rice here so this is how it looks like we're gonna add some garnish to it so we have spring onion, one fourth cup of cooked sweet peas, sweet and spicy red pepper. So this is how I cook my vegan arroz valenciana. I, I hope you like this video. This is how I cook my vegan arroz valenciana. Let's do my favorite part. Let's eat. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. I hope you learned something in this video. Thank you for watching. I love you guys.